Sziasztok! Today's video is going to be in English, but we're going to learn a couple of Hungarian words along the way. Parliamentary elections Országgyűlési választások The next parliamentary elections in Hungary are taking place on the 3rd of April 2022. This is going to be the ninth election since the fall of communism in Hungary. About 8 million Hungarians, both living in Hungary and abroad, are eligible to vote in the upcoming elections. Let's see who Hungarians can vote for. Current Hungarian electoral law requires that a party stand at least 71 candidates out of the 106 constituencies in total. In addition, these 71 constituencies have to be spread at least over 14 counties, as well as in Budapest, in order to be eligible. Six parties, or rather four parties and two coalitions, have met the eligibility criteria for the upcoming elections. They are number one, Fides. Fides was originally the abbreviation of Fiatal Demokraták Szövetsége, Alliance of Young Democrats. Here is a photo of current Prime Minister Viktor Orbán from when he was a young Democrat himself. This photo was taken in 1990 on election night during the very first election after the fall of the communist regime. So as I mentioned earlier, Fidesz was originally the abbreviation of Fiatal Demokraták Szövetsége, Alliance of Young Democrats, but its official name now is Fidesz Magyar Polgári Szövetség, that is Fidesz Hungarian Civic Alliance but it's still just referred to as Fidesz for short. Fidesz is in coalition with KDMP, Keresztény Demokrata Néppárt, Christian Democratic People's Party. The fidesz KDMP alliance has governed Hungary since 2010. The prime ministerial candidate from fidesz KDMP is the incumbent Viktor Orbán. Number two. Six opposition parties have agreed to put forward a single-party list to present a united front against Fidesz KDMP. The coalition of these parties is known as Egységben Magyarországért, or United for Hungary in English, or it's also known as Ellenzéki Összefogás, or Opposition Coalition in English. The parties forming this alliance are DK, Demokratikus Koalíció, or Democratic Coalition, Jobbik, Jobbik Magyarországért Mozgalom, Movement for a Better Hungary, Momentum, Momentum Mozgalom, Momentum Movement, MSP, Magyar Szocialista Párt, Hungarian Socialist Party, LMP, Magyarország Zöld Pártja, its original name was Lehet más a politika. Politics can be different, but now it's called LMP, Magyarország Zöld Pártja, Hungary's Green Party. And finally, the sixth party in this coalition is called Párbeszéd, or Dialogue in English. A seventh organization is associated with this coalition. This organization is called Mindenki Magyarországa Mozgalom, Everybody's Hungary Movement. This organization is not a party, however, and neither does it wish to become one. The prime ministerial candidate for the opposition coalition is Peter Marki Zoi. So that was the second option on the list, consisting of the coalition of the opposition parties. Now let's continue on to the remaining individual parties running in the Hungarian elections in April. Number three, Mi Hazánk Mozgalom, our homeland movement. The prime ministerial candidate from Mi Hazánk is László Torockai. Number four, Magyar Kétfarkú Kutyapár, MKKP, Hungarian Two-Tailed Dog Party. Magyar Kétfarkú Kutyapárt is a joke party, though nonetheless critical of the current government, with slogans such as May we not be required to work, but let there still be money, Ne kelljen dolgozni, de legyen pénz, or Peace forever and free raspberry cordial, Örök béke, ingyen mána szörp. 
Malna syrup is a classic Hungarian soft drink, a bit of a staple. A bit like orange squash in the UK. And it looks something like this. The Prime Ministerial candidate from Magyar Két Farkú Kutyapárt is Gergely Kovács, number five. Megoldás Mozgalom, Memo, Solution Movement. The Prime Ministerial candidate from Megoldás Mozgalom is György Gatyán, number six. Normális Élet Pártja, Nép, Party for a Normal Life. The Prime Ministerial candidate from Normális Élet Pártja is György Gödény. Now let's look at the ballot paper. Ballot paper, Szavazólap. The order in which the parties will appear on the ballot paper has been decided by a random draw carried out by the Nemzeti Választási Iroda, the National Election Office. The order in which party lists will appear on the ballot paper was announced on the 4th of March 2022 and printing is going to take about two weeks. They print on special paper, which is also watermarked with the Holy Crown of Hungary as well as the coat of arms of Hungary. 23 million sheets of paper will be printed in total. They're printing around one and a half kilometers of paper per minute. The ballot paper itself is going to be 20 centimeters by 42 centimeters in size. This is how the party lists will appear on the ballot paper. And the order of the party lists on the ballot paper is as follows. Number one, DK, Jobbik, Momentum, MSP, LMP, Párbeszéd, Coalition. Number two, Normális Élet Pártja. Number three, Magyar Kétfarkú Kutyapárt. Number four, Megoldás Mozgalom. Number five, Mi Hazánk Mozgalom. And finally, number six, Fidesz Magyar Polgári Szövetség, Keresztény Demokrata Néppárt. A Választás Napja Election day. Every polling district, Savazu Kur, has designated polling stations. At the polling station, Savazu Heishig, people go inside the polling booth, Savazu Fulke, where votes can be cast anonymously and in secret. The ballot paper, Savazolap, is then placed in an envelope by the voter. The voter then puts the ballot paper in the ballot box. Szavazó urna. My polling district is in Budapest and the designated polling station in my polling district is an elementary school. So, I will be voting here at this school on the 3rd of April. Who do you think will win the elections on the 3rd of April? Let me know in the comments below.